Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, tonight, I'm showing off the Gobo Zoom LEDs from Chave. Just got them in yesterday. Getting around to getting them all hooked up today. Got two of them. Um, you know what? I really like these things so far. I haven't had time to play with the custom. Making the own your own custom Gobos. I haven't had time to do any of that yet. So I just got a couple of the ones that come with them in. Um, they also come with four color gels. Red, green, blue, and yellow, I believe. Um, these are actually a really nice little, little fixture. Um, very compact. I believe they're three speed. And then, you, of course, you can stop them and make them stand still for if you need them to or want them to, whatever. Uh, let's see here. I think I got the hearts here on the second speed, and the music notes here is still on the first speed. Uh, let's see here. We'll see if we can get in on one a little bit. Things are really easy to use. They have the DMX dip switches in the back. Not, you know, it's not a something that takes a whole lot to learn how to use these. From what I can tell so far, I haven't dug yet real deep into it. But yeah, they're a cool little thing. I really like the fact that you're going to be able to make your own at home rather than having to send out to the company for them. Uh, makes it real easy for us mobile guys and whoever else to You know do it to have the custom ones for every gig And I think the you know with the sheets of paper and stuff you're gonna it's gonna cost you less than a dollar to make them So All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tear this down. I'll take them inside. We'll take a look at the the light itself and Kind of show you show you the ins and outs of her. All right, guys, and we're back here and got the got it tore down. Gonna take a look at the light itself. Um, about four pounds. Nice metal casing. Good sturdy brackets. On the back we have a DMX in DMX out power. Uh, the safety hook and the dip switches up here. Yeah, we'll do it this way up here. Um, I did double check, and yeah, it is. It is a three-speed light with uh, slow, medium, fast, and the still. Up top here, we have. I believe this is zoom, zoom knob right here, and this one back here is focus. Could have those backwards. I don't remember offhand to be honest, but focus zoom or zoom and focus or whatever. One of those two ways. Yeah, pop it out real quick. I'll show you guys the. Let's see here, I'm trying to keep everything in view here. Yeah, we can probably just hold it. So anyway. Swapping out the gobos, go we just take these screws right here in the back. These two. Loosen them up. Real quick and simple to do here. There is our gobo wheel. And we have a lock ring in, down in here. Um... Here we go. I'll pop it out for you real quick. I gotta use needle nose pliers because my hands ain't. You know, my hand, fingers are kind of fat, so. Alright, so I just take and grab the snap ring. Gotta be careful not to lose these. Pop it out just like that. And there's your lock ring. Pretty. Just pop out your gobo. Pop in a new one. If you want to put the color um, color gel in, um, I believe it goes in first. Then you lay your gobo behind it, and you 
to snap your ring right back in. And there goes the phone. That's alright. That's probably just a brother-in-law. I think he's about the only one to text me this late at night. But yeah. Alright. Sorry about that. And there you have it. Going back in. I'll say this. I found out earlier. First time I had it out, I was looking at it. There it is. I don't know how well you can see them, but yeah, you can see them. These little silver things right here are tracks. Make sure that they are lined up in there before you go go pressing it in there. I had a heck of a time getting it back out because it was off track. I was being careless and so I could just throw it back in there real quick and it would work fine. Well, gotta be a little bit more careful than that. It is a single uh, 10 watt LED, white LED, that powers it. And I'm not really sure what else to tell you guys about this. I mean, as I do more with the um, custom gobos, I'll probably post a video on them here after a bit. But I just thought I'd get this up and let and get my thoughts and opinions out on it real quick. So. Until next, next time guys, if you like, leave some comments, subscribe, do whatever, just let me know what you guys think.